Okay, I've now added my five points. I've got one in each corner and one in the middle, and you'll see those points on each image. And now that I have these control points set, I'll move on to rectifying the image to the selected control points. So to begin this, in the georeferencer window, I'll click on the Start Georeferencing button. If you get this message, please set transformation type. Just click OK. You'll be setting that in this transformation settings window that opens up next. So I'm going to put the transformation type at polynomial 1, which is the default, but there are other choices. I'll set the resampling method to nearest neighbor. Then I'll specify the name and location of the output raster. And I'll just modify this default name and I'll put in SPCS for state plane coordinate system just as a naming convention for this image. Click Save. You also have the option in here to specify the name and the path to a PDF, which would be the map of the georeferenced image, and also a report, which would contain the metrics of the transformation. I want to make sure that load and QGIS when done is checked. And with all my settings, I'll click OK. And it georeferences the image and places it right into QGIS Desktop. So when this rectification is performed, two things happen. First, the rectified image has been added to QGIS Desktop, as you've seen. The second thing that happens is that the residual values appear in the GCP table in the georeferencer window. The DX and DY columns report the difference in location between the reference image and the rectified image in pixels. The residual column reports the residual value for the control point. At the bottom of the georeferencer window is the transformation mean error. Ideally, you'll try to obtain residual values less than one-half of the pixel width in map coordinate values, or less than some small acceptable tolerance. Additionally, the mean error would be less than 2. If the residual is less than 0.5 pixels and or the mean error is less than 2, the rectified image is probably pretty good. If the residual is greater than 0.5 pixels or the mean error is greater than 2, then delete or readjust some of the existing control points to make the residual better. Try taking more control points than you need and see what effect this has on the residuals when you delete and add ones with the highest error. Notice that small changes and not choosing the exact pixel between the two images can have dramatic effects on the resulting residuals and hence the quality of the final rectified image output. Here my total mean error is 0.7, so well below 2, so that's acceptable, and the residuals for the individual pixels are acceptable too. In the final task, you'll clean up this image for cartographic display.